Hey gang, Crafty Goater here. Been working on a uh, testing rig for the motorcycle power distribution unit I've been tinkering with. What we're looking at here is a uh, constant current dummy load. Uh, what I do here is I take a power supply from a Dell server and I put, I've designed this little board to uh, pull the power out. There's a 12 volt rail and a 5 volt rail ground and 3.3 volts. And then uh, from there I have a couple of uh, op amps here. A uh, giant load resistor. This enormous thing back here. It's just a uh, wire wound around a, a ceramic tube. This knob here is attached to a uh, AT Tiny 85 microprocessor or microcontroller that's connected to a 12-bit uh, digital analog converter, which is using this uh, voltage reference, which is 2.048 voltage reference, which is uh, 10 bits. So, uh, since it's a 12-bit DAC, every time you go up one bit of resolution, you get uh, 50 millivolts of, uh, of voltage potential going up or down, depending on which direction you go. And the rest of it is just uh, some cleaning stuff, just some pull-up resistors. This is a debouncing cap for the for the knob. This is a, a 10,000 picofarad capacitor for the final uh, output of the op amp. There are four op amps on here. I'm using three of them. This is a uh, choke to clean up some of the noise that comes out of the DAC. And here is a voltage divider because I only want to output a maximum of 1.5 volts out of that DAC because uh, this will be 0.1 ohms and 0.1 ohms times uh, 1.5 volts is uh, 15 amps which is all I need to test for because uh, the PDU allows 15 amps per channel uh, 8 channels so I'll have a couple of these but I only need to do 15 amps per channel and uh, all of that then goes through and it gets processed, so the 1.5 volts gets turned into a, uh, a signal here, which feeds back into this guy, which in its feedback loop is another op amp and a MOSFET, and the MOSFET controls the load. And unlike some designs where you're biasing the MOSFET, uh, I have the last op amp set up as a comparator, so it's essentially a high speed switching setup. And uh, I'll show you a closer look at that guy. So, this is the quad package uh, LM324 op amp. This is the uh, it's a microchip 12-bit uh, DAC I just picked up from uh, DigiKey, although they give them away for free if you're smart, unlike me. Uh, this is an ATtiny 85 um, AVR microcontroller. I programmed it uh, and just burns the, the firmware to it. All it does is look for input from the from the rotary encoder and output that number that it pulls out to the DAC, which everything else is analog. So, uh, let's watch it go. What you'll want to look at here a couple of things. First we got the voltage out here for each uh, volt that comes that's 
goes through that load resistor is a amp. That's a 1 ohm resistor instead of a 0.1 ohm resistor, so eventually it'll be 10 amps per volt. And uh, let's turn this beast on. All right. So at the quiescent voltage on the DAC, according to my scope, is 2.4 uh, millivolts. And we sh would like to see a roughly one-to-one uh, -one ratio. There's, sh there's only a little bit of gain in one of the stages in the feedback loop. So uh, right now we're pulling uh, 4.8 uh, milliamps. And we turn the knob and you can see we immediately start a higher frequency pulse, essentially raising the duty cycle and a PWM signal, if you will. But this is all analog, there's no, uh, there's no microcontroller creating this because that's a 12 volt peak to peak PW PWM signal. So right now we're outputting 1.01 uh, volts uh, out of the uh, out of the DAC, and we're consuming 1.5 amps. Turning it up, and we're up to 1.46 volts, and consuming 1.7 amps. Now that'll be 17 amps when I get the. Uh, different load resistors, 0.1 ohm load resistors, but uh, it's a hell of a nice system. The uh, MOSFET here doesn't get very warm because I'm fully saturating the, uh, the channel or I'm fully enhancing the MOSFET and this is a, a pretty fancy MOSFET. It's 0.4 degrees per watt so uh, it needs the heat sink but it doesn't need one that big it's just what I had and all the heat gets bled out through the resistor and I think that's a better system than burning up your uh, semiconductors well there you go so unlike uh, I didn't have to buy a $20 or $15 tin turn pot in order to get all these turns. I haven't counted the turns, but uh, well, each turn is uh, one one hundredth of a volt. So, uh, and there you go. Alright, that's the news with the print. I'm going to uh, draw this up. I just did this all on the in my head and on the back of an napkin, so to speak. So I'll put this into a real schematic and uh, also design a uh, PCB. And uh, I'll get some uh, boards made up and post up all the uh, Eagle files so y'all can make them too.